bitch. Mellow beat, yeah. bitch. Mellow beat. Hey guys, it is Christy K and I am here with my review with this Love Me wig. So, I'm gonna be honest, when this, oh, I got this wig, it did not come like this. It was a little darker. Um, I actually dyed it myself and I styled it as if I do my wash and goes. I mentioned a little snippet right there of what happened when I first did it. This time I was like, all right, let me figure out how to make it a little better. I didn't like it, it was kind of a little too big and I felt like it looked unnatural. So this time I wanted to look like more natural. I feel like I achieved that vibe. So if you guys like this hair and you wanna see how I got to it, keep watching. The first thing I was not a huge fan of was the roots. So I wanted to get those fixed. So I took my Clairol Root Touch Up and I'm using that to even out the roots and have them all one color. I think I let it sit in process for like 10 minutes. Now that I rinsed everything out, I gotta detangle it as if I would my hair because it was already bleached and I bleached it. Um, it's a little rough, blonde is hard on the hair, so I had to do a good job making sure everything was properly detangled. Like this is literally what I go through when I was doing my own hair. I may as well have been doing my own hair. If you a true curly girl, you know about this spray bottle life, you have to have one. I'm using one of my favorite leave-ins, which is the Not Your Mother's 3-in-1 Curl Talk Conditioner. I'm combing that through to give some softness to the hair and define it as I brush it out. Your Mother's Curl Talk Collection is one of my favorites. That's drugstore because it's affordable. This is a defining curl cream. It's going to give the curls more definition and more hold. Every time we add a new product, we want to make sure we comb it through to make sure that it is all evenly distributed through the hair. Water is curly hair's best friend, so always add water when you feel like something does not have enough slip. This is the volumizing mousse from Diva Curl. I want to say it's been reformulated now, but I got two bottles and I'm going to get through it and we're going to use it for volume on this hair. Now for the fun part, I'm gonna diffuse the hair to make sure that the curls clumps together and are fully defined. Trust me when I tell you this is a very necessary step. You get the most defined curls ever when you do it this way. So you saw that I touched everything up, trying to get it ready. And I did basically like my wash and go routine for my hair, except I didn't put as much product because this hair is not as thick um, as my hair is. And this is a love me wig I will put a link down below if you would like to purchase one of these so now let's see what's happening comes with a secure band so I'm gonna put the band on I forgot to put on my wig grip a necessity So if you can see, it looks a lot better. I'm gonna take some concealer and perfect the parts. My Bare Minerals Concealer. I guess I could've did this while it was on the thing, but yeah, I'm actually gonna do that so I can see better. I grabbed a flat brush and dipping it in a concealer and I'm just running it down in a straight line to give the illusion of scalp. In some areas, I feel like I overplucked it a little bit, so I'm gonna take some brown eyeshadow and kind of fill in a little bit. Take a contour palette, and I'm gonna dig into this brown and kind of like fill in some of the sparse areas. Like right here, I don't know if y'all can see, it's a little too much room for me, so I'm gonna fill that in. I'm just kind of lifting and putting it underneath the hair so it's a more natural look. I think now it looks like more of what I'm okay with. I'm not a pro, I'm still learning my way around this. So don't be coming for me because I'm still trying to get it together. This little clip in the back, I'm gonna secure it with the clip and I'm gonna slowly start like pulling it apart 
so that I can manipulate the hair a little bit. I think some of this too, I'm just gonna brush it back. Cover up that little circle piece. Okay, good to closing that up. So now I'm, it's a little lace in the front. I'm gonna lay it down. I'm using the starter spray, it got to be glued. I have not worked my way up to using glue yet. All right, now that that's sprayed down, I'm gonna tie this little band down. Grabbing some clips to clip my hair out the way, and I'm taking some spray to spray whatever it's not stuck down enough before I let this hair down. They be making this look so easy. And I swear it's not, I'm not even gonna play myself and show y'all how long it took me to get that band on my head. Love it. I took off my band and I've got this all stuck. I just um, cut baby hairs on this side. I'm gonna take my Carl's Daughter styling foam and see if it's gonna lay that down. I'm really bad at this whole baby hair thing. I'm so terrible. I have been team natural hair for almost three years and I still do not know how to lay no baby hairs. This don't make no dang sense. But I promise y'all I'm getting better. My baby hairs have came a long way. Meanwhile, whenever I do it, it looks like trash. Listen, Linda, this is gonna have to be good enough for this side right here. This side, take a little bit. Originally, I didn't do enough over there, so I had to pull some out and cut it to make my baby hairs. Add some little foam. Yeah, like I said, I'm so terrible at this. This is it for me. I think this is so cute, as you can see. And I colored this, and I'm actually a fan of what's happening here, so. This is the finished product. I styled it as if I styled my regular wash and goes. I fluffed it out, it's puffy, but not too puffy. Again, this is a wig from Love Me. I will link it down below if you wanna get you one. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like this video. If you wanna see more videos like this on how I slay a wig, go ahead and hit that like button. If you have tried Love Me wigs before, leave a comment down below and let me know how you liked them and what your experience was. And with that said, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Mwah!